everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I wanted to talk to you today about how to make money trading. How can you do it? Well, it's very simple actually because all you have to do is get in a stock before it makes a move, whether up or down. So for example, if you want to go long a stock, then you get in the stock before the bullish move occurs, before the stock moves higher. If you want to make money shorting the stock, you have to get in the price of the stock before the move drops, before it moves lower. So what's the best way to do that? How can you do that consistently? Well, you can use a system, and I've developed a system to do just that, because my system actually predicts the move a stock will make. How is that possible? I do it when I read and rate the gaps that occur in a chart, in a daily chart of a stock. And you can also use it with ETFs like the market. So I predicted that Facebook was lower this week. And on Monday, the 24th, I called a trade in Facebook. I called puts. The trade was down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, until today. The trade didn't go positive until today. And the stock actually rallied for four days here. So this was the day that I called the trade. Then it rallied one, two, three, four, fell today. So I predicted that this bearish move today, the sell off in the stock would happen. Now you could say, well, Melissa, how did you see that? How did you know that would happen? I knew because I looked at the chart and I read the chart and I gave a lecture every day in the trading room on the stock because people were concerned and wanted to kill the trade. They wanted to kill it for many reasons. One, it was down. Two, the stock was rallying. Three, they were losing conviction. It went over a pivot. None of this is anything that I've taught any of my students and yet, they were all concerned about it. So there's a couple lessons from this, but let me get back to what I was saying earlier. The stock dropped today and fell very hard because news came out at whatever time it was today, news that I didn't know was gonna come out at all, that there was a data breach again in Facebook, 50 million users. So the stock had a huge massive sell-off. So how did I know the stock would sell off again? I had no idea about the data breach. I made the call on Monday. The stock fell hard today on Friday. How did I know to call that trade five days ago as a put? Because I read the price action in the gaps. You can trade and make money based on technical analysis without following fundamentals. You don't need it. It's interesting to me. And in fact, it's, 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 it's amazing to me some of the things that I see before they occur in a chart. And then later, some kind of news or fundamental reason comes out that creates a big move of the stock, something that I would have never known. But I can see in the chart it's going to go to that number. For the reason it goes to the number, it doesn't matter to me. And it won't, shouldn't matter to you because you can make money as long as you get in, in the right direction. Again, whether it's long or short. But in this case, Facebook was a short today and it was a put. So the point is that one, you can make money based on technical analysis and you don't need fundamentals. Two, how do you make money trading? You got to get in before the move happens. Three, you have to have conviction to trade and people were losing conviction because the trade was rallying and they were getting in their head about all kinds of things. If you're upset about a trade, if it goes negative, then you don't know what you're doing or you've lost conviction or chances are you risk too much money in the trade and therefore you need to cut back your risk because you shouldn't have to babysit a trade every second. If you're that worried about it, then you're taking too much risk of a trade. Take some off. Don't risk so much for a trade. All right. Every day in the trading room, I said this trade was going and, and then when it fell today, I, I, I mean, I can't say I wasn't surprised, but then again, I was because every time I predict what something's going to do that seems phenomenal, fantastical, amazing, it seems like how in the world did that girl know, which is me, that that stock would do that? I knew because I'm good at what I do, reading gaps. So I can predict where stock is going to go based on the price action and gaps. And that's why people pay me for my information in the class. And that's why people follow me. That's why people join the live trading room. That's why people sign up for the option letter. And I call it an option in this in a day trade. But the interesting thing is that when something happens like today, this huge news that comes out and the stock plummets, plummets. I had no idea that was going to happen when I called this put on Monday. I had no clue at all that there would be a data breach on Friday in this stock. And this happens all the time when I call trades all the time. But I could see when I call this trade, 
And I could see even yesterday, before this sell-off happened, I could see it when I called this trade that the stock was lower. And it is because of my rating system. Yes, I'm very intuitive. Yes, that's true. But I gain the intuition from the knowledge that I taught myself through the market, which is a 26 points of the Golden Gap course, and that is what you'd come and learn from me, and then you can do it too. And then you would have conviction in this. And the people in the room that did not hold this trade, that kept asking me about it, even though I told them to hold it, and hopefully they did, but the people I think that, that, that had issues with it had too much risk on. It's exciting when trades go right away big and fast. Like if I had called the trade this morning right out of the gate, everyone would have been happy, no one would even question it. But sometimes trades take time. Sometimes options take time. In fact, in the trading room, I went over this. I went over this too as an example. I talked about Nike. This was another phenomenal call that I made that I predicted in this stock, but this was a bullish move. And I'll talk about this here too. I called this as to buy the calls. And it was down, 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 down. Poof, huge trade. I talked about this in the room when I was using the example too. So that was another one, another great call. And I don't even remember the news that created that to happen, or it doesn't even matter. I don't even care. And you won't need to either. All you have to do is look at the gaps and rate the gaps and follow the system and take the trades. That's all you have to do, okay? So you have to be comfortable with your risk. You can't look at something so hard and look at this and look at the pivots and try to make stuff up and see something that isn't even there. That not, there's nothing there that's going to tell you anything that you're even going to need at all to what, you know, higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows and pivots and this and that and the other. That isn't going to help you. You have to focus on a set specific system that's going to point you in the right direction. And I'm telling you, for me, it's gaps. And I'm telling you that what I know works and it really works well because I can see that a move like this will occur before the event occurs even itself, which is amazing and it's phenomenal. And this is the reason that people pay thousands of dollars to learn from me because I really know what I'm doing. And when I see something like this, I, I myself then even am surprised sometimes because I say, I had no idea that data breach was going to come out this week. No idea at all. But I knew the stock was lower. I knew it was lower. Huge, huge, huge call. So, you know, we had another discussion too in the room about money and how people are so tight with their money. They cling to it, they cling to it, they cling, 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 cling. They're squeezing their money, they're holding on to it so tight. When you're holding on to your money so tight, guess what? Your hands aren't open to receive any money from the market. Your arms aren't open to receive any money from the market or the universe either. Stop clenching your money and your trade so tight. Open up your hands, open up your arms, be willing to spend money to get somewhere in life. My class costs money, taking this trade costs money. It worked, taking my class would benefit you as well. You have to open up your mind, your heart, your arms physically, and I'm talking esoterically here, but I'm telling you, it works. People are so scared and so afraid and clenching so tight to their money that they're actually holding on to it and they're making it smaller and they're not having, they're not allowing room for any money to come into their lives in a positive way, which is, which people want. People want wealth. They want to feel safe. They want to feel wealthy. They want to feel like things are going to be okay. They want to, they don't, they want to feel at ease. Okay about about trading and about the trades and about their investments they want to feel secure but clenching and holding on for dear life isn't going to get you there okay and it doesn't matter what age you are it doesn't matter how much money you have whether small or big it's the concept it's the philosophy it's the belief system okay this is why it's important not to risk anything more than you are comfortable with. It'd be great to say, we'll risk the farm in every trade, but that wouldn't make any sense. And if people do this here, they couldn't hang on till the move occurred. So sometimes I call trades and move right away. Sometimes I call trades, they take a little time. But either way, every trade that I call has to do with my system, which I utilize to make the calls. I had no idea that Facebook was gonna have a data breach today. I had no idea this news was gonna happen on Friday. And I call this trades on Monday. And that to me is so, freaking amazing so congratulations to everyone that made out in this trade i know there's some of you that did because i got some nice emails from people today 
There's a lesson to be learned in this, particularly for the people that heard the lecture every day in the training room this week. And there were some trials in there, it wasn't just the students. And you gotta take it in stride and realize we're going into earnings season and you've gotta get your act together, people. If you are not making money in the market and you're trading some system, you better stop trading it and stop losing. If you are trading with me and doing well, you can increase your risk if you feel that it's time or keep it the same, but you have to decide in the next week before earnings season star starts. And I keep your risk the same at least till the end of the year. If you are never traded at all and want to learn, it's a great time to start. Why? Because earnings season is busy and there's opportunities to make money in the market. And if you have no idea what a gap is, you will learn it from me. It's a skill set that I have. I have a great skill set to read charts. I mean, what, you know, this is such a, I'm so happy. I mean, it's just this, this whole lecture every single day this week should have taught every person in my trading room a lot. <laughs> and I hope people got a lot out of it. So have a great weekend, everyone. We will talk more about this at another time. Think about the things I said tonight and have a wonderful weekend.